Does anybody else get as excited about jars emptying as they do about filling those canning jars? <coughs> well, we've reached that point in the year. It's uh, middle of March and we're now thinking, oh boy, freezers are still full and we're coming into the next garden season. I know that's kind of wishful thinking because it is still mid-March. We had a huge melt yesterday and uh, I know there's more snow coming later this week, but it still gets your mind going on all the stuff that you still have to get done before you start bringing in more. So far this year, the canning stocks have held up amazing. I believe I ended up canning close to 620 jars of food over last year's harvest um, and storing them down here in the basement. Things are going super, super well. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a few empty slots now down on the bottom where I've emptied out boxes of things and put them up onto the rack because it's a lot easier to access. But as you can see, there's some spots on the rack that aren't getting refilled. And that's because they're a favorite and we've eaten them all already. So we're going to take a look in the freezer and uh, see if we've got some stuff that we could use to replenish some of these gaps. And over the remainder of March and in through April, we're going to try and take you through a few of these canning recipes. Uh, some of them might not be canning recipes. We've got some squash breads, things like that, that uh, um, we definitely want to share those recipes with you. But we're definitely going to try and do uh, kind of a recipe a week for the next sort of two months um, and keep them in our in the kitchen playlist which we'll always link at the end of this video and every video that's involved in this uh, little kind of a personal challenge to see if we can get the freezers emptied out. So let's go take a look at the freezer so you can see just actually no we're not going to do that. We're going to first talk about what's missing on the shelves. So sort of starting at the bottom here, we've got, those are my Italian style tomatoes. There's nothing I can do about those until the garden starts producing them again. But I still have seven more jars to see me through the rest of the year. A big gap that's falling in here is chili. We need to get some more chili made. I don't have any more made and I love having chili ready in the jars. Uh, moving over here, we've got some ratatouille, which yes, there's two jars missing, but I have a box underneath somewhere in there uh, that I can bring them up. It just wasn't quite worth the effort yet. Uh, moving over, Brazilian black bean. That's one. It's a soup. It's delicious. We're going to make that. Pea and ham. That is like a family favorite and we're so sad about losing our, you know, pigs. So we're going to have to figure that out. But uh, I've got some pork left over for, from some pigs we had butchered two years ago. And uh, we're going to make some pea and ham soup. That's actually first on our agenda. I already took the pork hocks out. So look forward to that recipe coming up. Uh, my rabbit soup, which I'll link the recipe above. Uh, we need to make some more of that. Uh, the, this is the lemony basil that's without the rabbit meat. Um, doesn't need to be pressure canned, but uh, we've got some more of that still, but no more of the rabbit to replenish. So we need to get some of that. Pickles, things like that we don't mess around with until next growing season. Charred salsa is really running out. That's a recipe that's coming in the growing season, but you have to have fresh tomatoes for that. Uh, Jane's basil stew. Uh, that's one now. I made that with beef and uh, this year I'm going to try and make it with lamb, see how it turns out. So we'll see if we share that recipe. Jams and jellies, I got a few coming. Mixed berry, raspberry. I need to get those used up out of the freezer so we'll see where we go with that. On this side we don't have as many gaps really. Lamb stew. Now I made that stew two days ago and I know it's not going to last so we're still going to make one more batch because we have a lot of lamb in the freezer so I will take you through that. Uh, our marinara pasta sauce we're not going through much this year so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, the chicken barley soup already did a video on that I will link it above or it will be in the playlist. But otherwise we've got applesauce holding steady and we've still got a few more boxes. Ketchup holding steady curry sauce still holding steady although I might make some more if I've got enough tomatoes in the freezer we'll take a look uh, because I know some people have asked for the butter chicken recipe so we'll see if it doesn't come now it's definitely going to come in the uh, next gardening season. I think probably one of the other surprise items this year was the pizza sauce. Uh, I made 16 jars of pizza sauce and we're down to five. So the pizza sauce is definitely one that is on the agenda to get going with uh, some of the tomatoes in the freezer. I'm not exactly sure how much I have left, so we're going to go now, take a look in the freezer, and see what we can come up with. As we open this freezer up, you can see a bit of the dilemma going on here. 
we are chocked full so we've got to get going on some things now lamb tons of that we're going to definitely be making some lamb stew but the other thing that's going to happen is we're going to make some of the uh, yellow summer squash bread um, Chris has a great recipe that he makes all the time for us and the whole family loves it so he's going to share that recipe so stay tuned for a Chris cooking he does have to have supervision so you can see as we dig down here we've got a couple bags of those frozen tomatoes I talked about already split ready to go uh, now these are six pounds per bag so we'll have to see how much we've got but I, like I say oh, there goes the tower of pumpkin um, as I said uh, I definitely want to do the pizza sauce and then we'll see what we've got left over after that I have lots of canned tomato stuff for the juices we still have tons of veggies frozen from the garden, tons of potatoes, squash, that sort of thing left. So I think we're definitely going to make it to the next harvesting season. Uh, fingers crossed everything holds out. That's one of the things though, as things start to uh, deteriorate, it's better to can them up at this time of year than to end up composting or throwing them out. So that's what we're kind of doing. We've got tons of potatoes for stews. We've got veggies that we froze, which are great for in stews and uh, it'll be interesting to see I want to try and can some of this squash because we have a lot of squash left and I don't want to waste it not that we do because as you saw in Chris's squash video uh, there's plenty of uses for squash but I'm gonna get my mess that I've made down here cleaned up as uh, I've pulled everything out of the freezer to see what we have and uh, we're gonna get started on our first recipe of pea and ham soup so stay tuned for that video coming shortly and uh, many more videos to come on this uh, cooking journey that we're doing if you have any uh, requests or things like that that you'd like to see a recipe for, as long as I have the products to make it, I'm happy to do so. But that's kind of the little peek into our crazy messy basement full of food. And uh, yeah, I hope you will follow us on this uh, cooking journey that we're going to do over the next two months.